Yo, what is good? It's Lucho from Bevy. We are in Toca de Reposa. We have a microphone. It is a prep day. Uh, we have Ronaldo in the background. I'll be showing you what he's up to right now. This is not a vlog. This is a sponsored video. If you have not heard of Ikega yet, uh, you're kind of a waste man. Ikega is all over Bevy. They're really sorting me out with a lot of goodies, such as these beautiful kegs. Insulated as well. Keeps your drinks cold for about 12 hours out in the sun. Very compatible for craft beers, cocktails, and non-alcoholic carbonated drinks. And today, these guys have been working endlessly for the last six months on this prototype. So we're gonna grab the biggest knife we have out here. Ah! So we killed it. Always cut outwards, because if it goes through, it doesn't go in. So we have an open box, paper, crunchy crunch. That's one box, second box, that's a little box. This is nitrogen, and then this is, it's not CO2, is it? Wait, am I wrong? Okay, so, fuck, I didn't bring my, oh no, wait, how many? <laughs> so I've got cream cartridges, nitrogen cartridges, Keep cartridges out of the reach of children. CO2. Box is empty. Ikega 2.0 prototype. Oh, this is different. Okay, let me compare them. That's, I think it's Veronica. Veronica, the Roto app. Nice. Oh, that was a little bad. Show you the road of app in a second. This here is the original system they have for their kegs. Oh, that's cute. A bit little message. Oh, this has a. I've never seen this before. That are very refined, very eye kegger. I'm gonna go back now. So, original system. This is what you screw on top of the keg, and then here you fit a tube all the way down to the bottom. Screw it on until it's fucking tight. This is where you would put your gas, ball lock, product. Difference here, same screw, gas, ball lock, and then the little sexy. I love the design, it's, you know, it's made in order for you to like pour a drink straight out of the keg. Less cables, less shit to wash. You still have your, I don't know how you call this, but safety pin, or you can release your gas. Uh, next. Multi gas regulator. Oh, cool. I always wanted one of these. Yes. Okay. Nitro bulb setup. This is super practical. Efficiency at its finest. Uh, let me just figure it out, please. So, all right. Close. This is where you can regulate your the PSI of your gas or whatever's going in there. Increase and decrease. Little screw thing for the bulb. So this is where you put your bulb in, because they're like miniature bulbs. A really small, practical and efficient way of just dispensing your keg. Because you won't need a fat line of gas. I hope it doesn't sound too weird. Here's the ball lock. It's pretty fancy. Got that in? Boom. Oh no. Um, pretty simple. The cream and the nitrogen cartridges do not have a screw that is required to fit in here, as so. Um, so what you would have to do Screw this on top. Okay, now I'm really confused. Oh, because you need une clé anglaise. Spanner? I'm gonna ask Ronaldo if he has a spanner somewhere. Let, let's focus on the um, carbonated drinks first. So, with this system, you can carbonate drinks. Uh, I'm not going to try that today because it does, it's a bit of a long process. You have to make sure your ingredients are cold, you have to put some gas in, shake it like a bitch. Uh, I mean, this and that. Um, environmental, etc., etc. It's a bit annoying. I already have a carbonated drink. Today we have the Kaipi Fizz. Pindorama Cachaca. Oleo citrate of lime and lemon. However the fuck you say that in English. Cold brew, green tea, water. Blend all of them together accordingly to what you would like balance to be like and then just carbonate that bitch um is we're going to add the tube to this little place in there. turn for carbonated drink we shall use co2 
The tube is at the bottom. You can hear some liquid. We're going to add this multi gas, this mini multi gas regulator. Boom. Done, North. Always make sure you put it on minimum because otherwise your gas just gets fucking out of control. CO2, a little bit of flare. There you go. So no click needed. You just screw it on, make sure you're on minimum, and then magic. With the gun, you can kind of regulate it as well. Whereas here, since it's only a button, I would say just put it to 15. This is a very small cartridge, so this is not to be used to carbonate drinks. I mean, you can if you want, but you're going to be throwing a lot of cartridges in the bin. So I would only use these to, to pour. You have the gas, the tap, and the keg. It's this size. You can take it wherever the fuck you want. You can even go to space with this. It's pretty solid. Let's grab a glass. No floating ice. And then... I think you just have to push, I guess. Oh, wow. That's it. Well, you might want a spilling tray, but I have a marble. It's not marble, it's limestone, actually. Pink limestone from Sintra. I guess, yeah. Cheers. Enjoy. Um, actually, now I'm thinking about it. Shall we try... So we're going to go on to nitrogen. Nitrogen cartridge does not have a screw. Unscrew this little part where you fit the CO2 cartridge. So you get your spanner. Shit. So here you have a converter for your CO2 cartridge. And here you have a wide screw, which is, I think, the same size as the usual siphon that you kind of like carbonate or make cream, whipped cream with or whatever. Very improvised coffee filtered martini. Up. Water. We're making coffee. We'll be using filtered coffee for the drink. And we're going to use the remaining part of the coffee to infuse in the sugar because we're going to make some form of a, like a coffee liqueur. It smells good. Okay. So. Put it in there. So let's say two part vodka, one part sugar. Sorry, Constanza. I'll bring this vodka back to you somehow. So we always have sugar in the fix. It's kind of long to spill. Mm. Mix this up. Uh, to make this a bit funky, we could add some. Oh! Oh! Two, three, four, five, boom. A little bit of cacao notes. Gonna let this rest for a bit. In the freezer. Fridge. Freezer. Fridge. That's about what I need. Put this in the fridge as well. Freezer. Back in hot mine. We'll be back. We have had our coffee break. Fine strain this. Good. To add some vodka. A little bit of flair. Okay, I'm not good for this. Vodka, coffee. There we go. Oop. Um, hmm. Add five of coffee. Mm. Perfect. A uh, cheeky little pinch of salt. One, two, three. Oof, nice. Tap system out. Slightly dilute this. We could be chilling this right now. It's a bit of a long process to make one fucking drink. Probably shake this. It's not my all time favorite drink, but I think it's the best example to try it out, show you how this functions. Perfect. Gas line in. All lock in and nitrogen let's see okay, this is tight yes perfect and it tastes rather good there you go thank you very much honor and the whole team at ikega i'm stoked to have this little piece of machinery for the summer yeah period
dill tequila. Dill tequila. Mm. Yeah. The tequila, honey, mustard. Okay. Redistill. Yeah, you read. Yeah, redistill. This looks pretty fancy. So dill tequila is in here. It's going to evaporate, drip, drip down in the flask. And I'm just controlling the machinery. Ronaldo. <laughs> A bit shy, but loves playing with his fingers. 